Oh yeah. Good coffee. This is a uh, this is my EDC. I carry this in my truck every day. And uh, before winter got here, I took what I have in there out and oiled it up real good. That I carry with me when I'm going on longer trips, when I'm going to be gone for longer than just a single day. All this over here is my fishing equipment that I keep in my truck, uh, along with, where is it? This is a Pope Hill Fisherman, Pocket Fisherman. This is just a short fishing rod I keep in there. Ow, ow, ow. Damn. I'll get a tetanus shot later. But uh, what I'm going to do is take all my stuff out of here and go through it. Uh, eliminate some of my winter stuff. Hats, gloves. And uh, over here, uh, right there, is empty jugs. Uh, I'm going to fill them up with the water and put them in my truck. I just take them out for the winter because we do get freezing temps here in Louisiana. Uh, so let me uh, let me start emptying this out. See, see if my gun made it through without getting rusty. I should have checked on it, but you know things just get away from you. Fire starting stuff. Bullets. This is the one I'm most concerned about. Well, let's see. Can you see through that? Yeah. There's no rush there. Looks good. Good deal. Bolt's good. Everything's good. Okay, I, before I put it back, I'm going to take it apart and hold it up again. Uh, put it in there through the summer. I'm just uh, going through, rearranging. Okay, that's cleaning kit. Bring you in a little closer here. knife more bullets four happy sticks 30 rounders Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen rounder. Sunglasses. I have to have sunglasses in the summertime. I just cannot see without sunglasses. Oil, gun oil, binoculars. I'm gonna leave all that in there. That's going right back because I'm not. I'm not changing nothing out about them. Alright, let me uh let me look through this one. That's band-aids. Gauze tape uh ointment. Nothing's changing about that. Pocket Constitution, spare glasses because I can't see without them, a little bit of gun oil, 9mm brush, some 9mm, uh, some cotton swabs, and uh, some uh, mops, bore mops, all that staying. <clears throat> huh, more guys. Empty magazine, paracord, uh, 
100 rounds of ammo, some more empty magazines. Oh yeah. Loaded. Empty. Couple of more of knives. Tell you what, I'm not changing anything out. Uh, what I had was uh, winter hats, winter gloves, uh, winter jacket, and uh, extra socks and just warm stuff you would need to keep yourself warm. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just sort of repack these, uh, oil my guns up. Uh, all my fishing gear is going to go in this. I had it in uh, this which is way too big so uh... alright let me drink my coffee and uh... where's my coffee? jeez drink my coffee and put this all back together and I'll show you how I keep it packed away in my truck alright I got everything repacked uh, I gotta fill up my water jugs and then we'll go out and see if we can cram this back underneath the back seat of my truck. I just wanted to, uh, I don't think I mentioned these. These are catfish throw lines. And if you were in a survival situation and, and you had to walk a long distance, you would naturally have to occasionally rest as well. <clears throat> and uh, the part of Louisiana I'm in and the part of Arkansas or Texas that I would likely be in. Uh, you just, you know, every time you turn around, there's a bayou, stream, river, lake, or pond. So, uh, you know, if you were going to stop for a few hours, uh, it would just make sense to throw a few lines in the water and try to catch some protein. And uh, that's why I'm going to stick them in there, too. All right, I got all my fishing stuff in here. The, the Popeil Pocket Fisherman. I got my little short fishing rod there, my throw lines. Got three throw lines in there. couple things of water here. This I didn't show you, but uh, I have <clears throat> lots of bullets. Lots of bullets in there. And uh, I showed you everything in here. These are more water, and I got paper towels wrapped around them because they clink and make a lot of noise when you're going down the road. Okay. Oh, and my tactical assault dog ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. Ain't that right? 